So in the last video, I hopefully proved to you, at least you know, maybe it doesn't make intuitive sense just yet, but I showed you, you know, that the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A given B times the probability of B, and the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of B given A times A, and then we played around a little bit and we got this. And this is called Bayes' theorem or Bayes' law. And I will now show you how you can apply this formula. But it shouldn't be in a formula. You should always be able to intuitively come to this conclusion, even if you forget Bayes' theorem, which I do all the time. And then I go through that thought process that we did at the end of the last video over again. But let's see how we can apply this to this problem. So we want to figure out the probability that we pick the two-sided coin, given that we observed that when we flip it five times, we got five heads. So let's say that this is, a, this is event A, and this is event B. Right, so we can use Bayes' theorem. So the probability that I got two-sided, that I got the two-sided coin given five out of five heads, is equal to the probability. And I'm actually going to think about what this fraction means in a second, but it means the probability that I got a given b. So it's this: the probability that I got five out of five heads given the two-sided coin times the probability of the two-sided coin, right? b, we defined event b as a two-sided coin, times the probability of two-sided coin, divided by the probability of, in general, the probability of getting five out of five heads. The probability of five out of five heads. All right. Well, what's the probability of getting five out of five heads given the two-sided coin. Well, we already rewrote that down. We're guaranteed to get five out of five heads. So that's one. And what's the probability of getting the two-sided coin? Well, that was 1 tenth. Right? And now what's the probability of getting five out of five heads in general? Well, we figured that out, uh, I think, either in the last video or the video before that. Right? It was, I forgot the exact number. Actually, it was something like it was 1 tenth plus Nine over three twenty, and right. So this was three. This is thirty-two. It was forty-one over three twenty. We figured that out in the previous problem, right? So this is over forty-one over three twenty, and so what do we get? We get this is equal to one over ten over forty-one over three twenty, and what is that equal to? That equals to one over ten times three twenty over 41. Let's divide the top and the bottom by 10. So it equals 32 over 41. That's interesting. I actually find that really interesting. I don't know which coin I picked out of the bag, but I know that if I flip that coin five times and all five are heads, that there's a 32 out of 41 chance, this is maybe a little bit better than a 75% chance, that I picked the, two, uh, the two-headed coin, we could say. And let's 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 think about this visually a little bit. So, you know, if if this is the entire universe of what could happen, and we said, you know, one tenth of that, this is the two this is the two sided coin, this is the fair coin. And then out of all of that, the situation in which we get five out of five, well those could be well pretty much all of the if we got the two sided coin, all of that is going to be five out of five. And then some small fraction one thirty second of the fair coin. So this yellow circle represents um, getting thirty, getting five heads in a row. So if I want to know what's the probability of the two-sided coin, all Bayes' theorem is saying is, well, okay, we observed that we got the two-sided coin. I know, sorry, we observed that we got five out of five heads, right? So we now know that we're in this yellow universe because the yellow universe represents. Uh, the area or all of the outcomes where we got five out of five heads. And then we say, well, out of those outcomes, what percentage of them involved me getting the two-sided coin? Well, if we look here, all of these, sorry, I'm edit. If we look at it here, this is the area out of the yellow where I had the two-sided coin and I got the five out of five. And so this is going to be roughly 32 out of 41 of the yellow of this yellow area. So that's a visual representation of Bayes' theorem. This says the probability of getting a two-sided coin given I got five out of five. That says, well, okay, let's look at the universe of you got five out of five. And then what percentage of, of that universe involved you getting essentially the two-sided coin? And that's that. 
And that's all Bayes' theorem essentially uh, tells us. So let's let's see if we can apply that. Uh, let, let's 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 do it a, a more interesting one. Let's say actually I'm going to leave it there, um, and then I in the next video I will I will apply Bayes' theorem to more interesting problems. See you soon.